All right, all you RC hosers out there, it's time for a little pre-boxing day unboxing here. Today we have the Exceed Mini Rally from... Hey, dog, take off! Hoser dog you. So we're going to use the trusty old batarang here to open up the box. Try to knock, knock over the Labatt there. All right, now this is the first time we're peeking in the box here, so I'm seeing for the first time what you're seeing for the first time. First thing we've got here, it looks like it's going to be the controller. this out of the way so everyone can see. Little pistol grip controller, fairly flimsy, no antenna sticking out because it's 2.4 gig. It's got steering trim, uh, buttons left, right instead of a dial, thought throttle trim off and on. Turn it around for the camera to see here. The wheel feels okay. It's light. It feels slightly toyish. Um, not quite as much as the old X Mods controllers, but eh, not far off from, from it either. All right, now we've got the car here. But of course, it's zip tied in, so once again, it's batter rag time. Here's the car itself. Very nice looking actually. Take a look at the bottom of the chassis here, the way it's made. You can see it's got the um, little side bumpers here like a uh, short course truck does. Honestly, it looks quite a bit like my low C short course truck, which we'll put side by side with this in a moment. Off the body pins here. Have a sip of the old Molson. Looking at it from the top down, very non low looking from the top down. Get the springs here. It's got quite a bit of wheel travel, as you can see right here. These are not oil springs, these are just friction dampeners. Looks like we've got uh, two plugs here, properly for the, uh, the motor and the ESC. We open up the battery compartment here, very again, very similar to the low seat, kind of tight in there. And we've already got the uh, nickel metal hydride battery shoved in there, which uh, I won't be running for long as it's only 4.8 volts. And just as the low seas, I imagine it does run a lot better with a LiPo battery. And oh, look at this. It uses the standard low C connector. So that means I'm not going to have to solder up GSTs or order new batteries or anything. I can take the battery out of the low C and put it into here. So that is very, very nice. I am pleased with that. So now, what we are going to do is we are going to put it side by side with the low C. I'm not going to put the body pins back on, I'm just going to put the body on right through the body post. And, and the body post I thought felt a little flimsy there at first, but they're not so bad. These things aren't going to be going at uh, crazy speeds anyway, to which the body post should break off and uh, they don't weigh that much, so it shouldn't be too much stress on it. Now, right here, as promised, we'll roll these back here. We got the Losi short course truck and the Exceed Rally side by side. 
Very similar in size. Similar in weight, the low C does feel a little, little bulkier there. It's got a little more heft to it. But that could possibly be because it's got the larger battery in the tray right now, whereas I left the battery out of this. Now looking at it from the top down here, it tilted up to where you can see it. Very, very similar in design. The low seat does have uh, shorter shocks, but they, uh, they are oil filled and they do have the adjustment collars here on them, whereas these are just spring loaded. So I wouldn't say that you could really swap one out for the other because there's such a different in the, difference in the length. Uh, I believe that the rally car and the truggy from Losi does use the same size as what does the uh, short course truck. So we're going to have to look elsewhere if we want oil dampened uh, springs because they, uh, they do appear that they will be too short. Now looking at also from the top, very similar design. If you look at it right here, of course the top tray is different. The uh, the A arms and the upper arms, if we flip it over like this, they are a bit thicker on the low seat. Uh, they use some plastic right here for the, the camber links. Same as the low seat does, black plastic versus clear plastic. Uh, the hubs are made different. So at this point, I'm going to say uh, there is not going to be any swappable parts outside of battery power switch roughly in the same position, battery tray roughly in the same position, but I do not believe at this point any of these will be swappable. Especially considering if you look at the rear A-arms, the rear A-arms of the low C are much, much wider. So we can pretty much rule out right off the bat any, any swapping of parts. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the LiPo out of the low seat, which is what we got right here, it's a little 350 milliamp zippy battery pack. And as I said, the Exceed does have the low seat battery connector on it, so it's just going to plug right in. I'm going to check the wires, make sure no uh, polarity is reversed or anything, and it is not. It's blue to black and red to red, so that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and tuck the wires into the battery compartment here. And it appears as if it may be just a little too thick to fit. jamming it down in here real good. No, it's just too thick. It's not going to work. So if we're going to go LiPo, we're going to have to go something uh, less than 350 milliamps. So I'll probably wind up ordering some 240s, 180s perhaps, and seeing if we can get it in there. I mean, it does fit really well except for the height. The pack is just too thick. It just it will not fit. Battery door will not go on unlike the low seat. So, looks like after all, we will have to be ordering some more lipos. Alright, let's move these off to the side here. Have another little sip of the Molson. And then compare the controllers. This is the AM low C controller, and then this is the 2.4 gig C controller. Pretty huge difference here. Low C's got some heft to it. It's got the old antenna sticking out of it. The wheel feels nice and gripped and uh, foamy, and the, the play, there's just no play in it. It's tight, trigger's tight. Your um, throttle and steering trims are dials. Uh, let's see here. Now that is something that's missing from here. The, uh, the low C does have a um, dual rate on it, where this does not. 
Again, I don't really know that you need it. You want the vehicle to turn as sharp as it can because they're so small. You want it to go as fast as it can because they're not fast to begin with. And then this right here, it, it just feels cheap, honestly. It, it feels a bit cheap. The, the, the wheel's not so bad, but the controller itself feels cheap. It feels, it feels toy. It feels like something you expect from New Bright, you know, not from something hobby grade. So that's going to be our first look at it right here. We've shown it side by side to the low C. We tried the batteries, found the batteries didn't work. We found that there, there just isn't going to be any swappable parts. The springs won't work. Uh, the tires, let's take a quick look at these. Wheel nuts look to be the same size. Tires are about the same size. I would say the tires possibly. I'll try it later, but the tires possibly are swappable, but as far as parts goes, that's going to be about it. Uh, the standard nickel metal hydrides will swap. My uh, zippy pack's too large for it, so we're going to have to go down in uh, milliamp hours to get a smaller pack. But otherwise, they've got the low C connectors on them, that's good. So if you've got existing batteries that aren't 350 milliamp, if they're smaller, you should be able to swap them back and forth between vehicles. You're not going to need another connector. You're not going to need to make an adapter for your charger. So not bad all in all. So what you're seeing here is what you get for uh, $60 from Nitro RCX plus $20 shipping, which might I add is shameful. This thing weighs nothing. The box is small. $20 is a ripoff for shipping. If you can find one on eBay, go that route. You won't get ripped off on the shipping. Um, the thing probably should have cost five to seven bucks to ship, honestly. 20 bucks is a ripoff. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. But what you get is 80 bucks for a uh, 124th scale brushed vehicle. 20 bucks cheaper than uh, the low C. And um, after I run it, I'll tell you if it's uh, worth saving 20 bucks or if you should spend the extra 20 on the low C. See you soon.